Welcome to Limo Logs. Your company has made a decision to use Limo Logs to maintain DOT compliance and assist in maintaining their fleet to the highest standards in the transportation industry. Your company will issue you a login and a password. Passwords are not case sensitive. If you have an error logging in, please verify that AutoCorrect did not change your username. If you did not log in the previous day, the first screen you see will be a box to sign your logs for the previous day. Simply sign in the signature box and press Next. From the drop-down menu, select the vehicle you have been assigned and press Next in the top right corner. You will then be shown the previous DVIR for your review. If the vehicle had a previous defect, you will see that directly under Location on the left side of the screen. If a mechanic or manager has verified that a repair was made, you will also see their signature to the left of the previous driver's signature. After reviewing the information, you must certify that you have done so by checking the box in the lower left corner and pressing Next. The next screen is your vehicle inspection. By selecting the compass button, the GPS will determine your location and enter it for you. Then enter the starting mileage for your vehicle. If your company uses the checklist feature, please press the button for driver checklist. Verify that you have each item and check the corresponding box. Once completed, press done. Press the body inspection button to see previously reported damage to this vehicle. You may tap on any X to see what damage has been reported. It is important to review the X's so that if a scratch was reported and there is now a dent, you can report the new damage. To report new damage to the vehicle, hold your finger on the picture of where the new damage has been discovered. Once the pop-up appears, enter a description of the damage and then press Take Photo to access the device's camera. Take a picture of the damage, then press Use Photo to save it. Press Save at the top right corner to return to the main body inspection screen. A new X will now show where you selected and a report will be sent to your company. If you locate a mechanical defect with the vehicle, select Defects Found to report it. There are two types of defects defined by the red circles at the top of the form. The first is only to be selected if the defect will get you a ticket, cause a mechanical breakdown, or cause a collision. The second is for all other defects, such as the stereo not playing or a rip in the interior. These are important to your company and they need to know about them so repairs can be arranged. Once you have determined the classification of the defect, scroll to the item that best defines it and check the box next to it. A comment line will appear so that you can describe the issue. Make sure that you provide precise information such as driver's side headlight is out. After adding the comment, select save. Check the box that says no defect was found or defect found based on whether or not a defect was reported. Click in the box below to sign your DVIR and then select save to move on. The log form is where you record your trip numbers and sign your daily log. All the other information is automatically populated for you including mileage. Enter your trip number or numbers, sign your log and select save. Tracking hours worked is something that must be done daily while you are working. This is a federal requirement and affects the safety of the motoring public. Limo Logs has made this simple. There are four gray circles at the top, off, SB, DR, and on. These represent the four classifications of duty status. Off, which stands for off duty, is used for any time that you are not working. SB stands for sleeper berth and can only be used when in a dedicated sleeping compartment attached to the vehicle. DR is for all time spent actively driving a vehicle that is designed to hold nine or more people, including the driver and front passenger. And ON is for all other working hours, including time spent driving a company sedan or SUV with less than nine seats. ON duty time also applies to all compensated work, including for other employers. You will notice that based on the vehicle you're assigned, you will not have access to all of the options. Some circles will be whited out and you will only see a shadow. 
You also will not be able to go on duty with a vehicle that was placed out of service due to a safety-sensitive defect in the vehicle inspection portion unless such defect has been corrected. To go on duty or begin driving, press the DR or ON. Verify your location and if you would like, make a comment and press save. The graph line will drop down to the selected line and will continue to run in the background. Do this every time you change from working to not working or driving to not driving. Only time actually spent driving a nine or more passenger seat vehicle counts as driving time and must be logged correctly. From the menu in the top left corner, you can add additional trip numbers by selecting Add Trip. Selecting Add Vehicle will allow you to switch vehicles and conduct a new pre-trip inspection. Update Form and Edit DVIR will allow you to go back to the previous screens. Selecting Recap will show you how many hours you have worked and how many available hours you have remaining. The Edit Logs menu will allow you to go back and correct previously inaccurate logs. In the event that you forgot to make a change of duty status on your log sheet, your logs can be edited for up to 15 days. Select the day that you need to edit and select Insert Duty Status. Press and hold the wings of the status bars and drag them to the time that you need them to be. Once the correct time is chosen, press the button for Off, SB, DR, or On. You will be able to see the changes on the graph and press Save in the upper right corner to finalize your edit. When finished with that day's log, press the back button in the upper left corner and select another log to edit or press back again to return to today's log. If you are selected for a roadside inspection and an officer wants to see your log sheet, select inspection from the main menu and hand the device to the officer. Let them know that the logs can be emailed or faxed or they may view the logs on your device by selecting one of the two options. When you receive the device back, it will prompt you to sign back in upon leaving inspection mode. Simply select the vehicle that you are in and you will be returned to your log. When you are changing vehicles or at the end of your shift, you must do a post-trip inspection. Access it from the menu screen. Do your inspection of the vehicle, the body, and if your company requires, a post-driver's checklist. Enter your ending mileage and select the box again to indicate defects or no defects and press save. You will be returned to the log form where you will need to verify that all of your trip numbers have been entered and that your total mileage is on the form. Then press save. If you are done for the day, remember to hit off and save before signing out from the main menu. Selecting log sheet photos will allow you to attach documents to your log sheets. Your company may direct you to take a picture of fuel receipts and other documents, and here is where that is done. Press the camera button to bring up your device's camera, take a picture, and select Use Photo. Press Save to submit it to your company. You can take multiple pictures, and once you are done, press Back to return to your log. If your company has elected to do so, you may find permits, registrations, and insurance cards under Vehicle Documents in the main menu. Simply select the document that you would like to view. Hit Back twice to return to your log. In the event of an accident, select Accident Report from the menu. You will be guided through a series of questions and asked to gather information from the other driver. Make sure to get as much information as possible and take pictures where you are instructed. Thank you for using Limo Logs. Please direct any questions to your dedicated company representative.